legs and hips and body, body. I look a mess, but it's beauty in the making, okay? We are going to do a twist out, but um, usually when I do my twist outs, I put maybe like 10 kind of chunky twists all over my head because I be being lazy and it's usually like a quick method for me. Um, but I want to try something different. I want to try to do a lot of smaller twists so that I can, um, one, um, because the today's Monday, it's um, the Juneteenth holiday. It's not gonna be dry tomorrow, um, Tuesday when I have to go back to work because it is already, it's 12 o'clock. Shout out to my girl Megan and party. Love that she in love. It's 12 o'clock, I'm not sitting under the dryer. It's just not gonna be dry in time tomorrow. Also, I started back um, working out because I have gained a lot of weight in the past year, probably like 10 to 12 pounds um, in the past like year and a half. Um, so I'm working out again. Um, I started a cycling membership and I don't know if the last time I recorded I was doing that or not. I'm really not sure. Um, but I started back doing that four to five times a week. So, um... I feel like that's also a way to kind of preserve my twist out. Um, Y'all. My mind just went blank. One, it's a way to preserve uh, my hairstyle because I can wear this for a few, I can wear the twist for a few days and then actually take the twist out. Two, I feel like it'll be more defined because they're smaller. And um, three, which was number one, my hair is not going to be dry tomorrow. So I want to be able to wear it to work and not look a mess. That's what I was trying to say. All right. I washed my hair maybe 20 minutes ago. And just put it in an old cotton t-shirt. I had a um, like an actual thing that you wrap around your head. But it must be in the dirty clothes or something because I couldn't find it. Also, if you happen to see me, just kind of look over. My mirror is to the side. So what I'm going to do is start by parting my hair in four sections because I feel like I did detangle so I don't know why I was acting like that. And then we're going to just take four sections. Yeah, I promise I deep conditioned and combed while it was conditioned so I don't know why I was acting like this. Alright, coconut oil um, has always been my oil of choice. It has been really, I guess, just warm in my house lately. Although it's not. Um, but it has melted down. So be careful with that. Alright, so we're going to take each section. And we're going to saturate it back. Well, not saturate. Let me not say saturate, but wet. And I personally do the lock method. So I'm gonna take a leave-in. Right now I'm just using the almond and avocado from Design Essentials, but I use all different kinds. This is just the one that I grabbed. Then take your oil, which is the O in the lock method. And I have a wide tooth comb. If y'all can hear that sound in the background, I have a fan right here because it'd be hot in this room in my house because I have a very big window right here um 
with just like some sheer curtains and it's the it's a front facing window so this is sun rises on the east and sets on the west so this is the east facing window so it just gets really hot in this room um all right technically i probably need one more thing but we're just gonna make this work like this all right so i'm gonna use my curl enhancing smoothie from shea moisture and i feel like eco style was canceled but it works for me i'm sorry all right so i'm going to continue with this and then when i get to the front of my head i will um come back all right y'all so we're done or i'm done it is so time is. Sorry, I was watching a podcast on my phone. It's 12.50, so that took like an hour. Um, at the top, I'm just going to wet it a little bit and then put a little eco styler on the part so that stuff goes that way. Don't put too much because you don't want it to be crunchy. Um, but I'll turn around. Alright, so I'm going to wear this for maybe like two or three days um, and I'll come back when I take it out. Alright y'all, so um, I'm trash because I said that I was going to take my hair down or keep it in for like a day or two. Um, I want to say I did it on Sunday. It's definitely Friday. Um, I've worn these all week to work. I just put it, pulled it back like this um and like a little low ball bun and then i had these little two pieces out um it was given low key but yeah i'm about to go run some errands i have to get my passport photo retaken finally um pass my passport expired in march i think today is what june 25th i just I haven't done it because I, I don't have any out of the country trips coming up so it just wasn't um like a priority to me but I'm, I'm gonna do it today so i just put a little bit of um coconut oil on my fingers because you need to use some oil when you take this out your hair when you unravel them i forgot my pick but um a pick too so we're just gonna unravel them gently and what i do is i just kind of twist them the opposite way and then let me do one on the front so i twisted it this way but i'm gonna unravel it that way so i just do this till you see the strands kind of start to separate on their own and then i just gently pull them apart all right so we are done now i'm just gonna take a pick i try not to pick it too much on day one because um i feel like the bigger in order for it to be really big it kind of has to be frizzy and i obviously don't want it frizzy on day one i want to wear this for at least another week um you know potentially let me turn this brightness down to see it though oh well the brightness was all the way down because i feel like right here you can't really see how big it is um so yeah i mean my widow's peak is peaking i might 
put a little edge control on it. This I'm not even gonna put no gel on it because it's not gonna hold it down. How <laughs> to turn around? So as you can see, it's got movement, it's got legs and hips and body, body. Okay. Um, focus. Do I like it? Yeah, I think it's cute. Um, there's no major cons, I feel like. It did take longer to do. And longer to take out and I'm not really sure if I see a major difference in how my curls came out um, but there are no major like cons I don't feel like anything looks a hot mess um, there's one pro I feel like um, <laughs> because I kept it in so long it's like I got two hairstyles if I would have I did it Sunday if I would have took this out Monday um, Today or tomorrow would have been wash day. Whereas, I can wear this for another week, you know? And it's two different hairstyles. So, yeah. Um, I've got a little bit of heat damage. We ain't gonna talk about that. But I do kind of like this. Um, I guess that's, that's another pro. I feel like doing them this way kind of hides the heat damage. Because when I do less twists but bigger, more of the twists are kind of molded together if that makes sense because it was a a bigger twist i don't know i feel like if you're a natural girl you get it the girls that get it get it the ones that don't that's a good thing you don't get it i guess because your hair don't be playing you like mine do but yeah um thank y'all so much for tuning in um don't forget to like comment and subscribe um and until next time